Hi there. Glad you're here. I'm Peter Alsop with this week's Song to Chew. Let's listen to a song from fan club favorites called I Hope You Understand, Dear. It's another one of my pun-filled satirical songs. For some reason, I can't help holding up some of our male behaviors in the hope that we might see ourselves a bit more clearly. This song is sung from the point of view of a remorseful man who's explaining to his lover why he's leaving her and going back home to his wife and family. From fan club favorites, let's listen to I Hope You Understand, Dear. For years I've been watching folks on the TV Sometimes it seems they were more real than me Then I met you, computer, you wanted my touch You gave me the control that I needed so much I hope you understand, dear You'll forgive me, I know You follow every command, dear But I'm going back home There was something attractive about your organized mind I turned you on and our lives intertwined I spent so much time sitting just gazing at you That my wife she suspected and my kids they did too Well we didn't try to hide it, we started scrolling around We'd go out on datas and you'd never go down So I knew you meant business, that you weren't the cheap kind but I need somebody, darling, not just some mind. And my wife and kids miss me, and heck, will you never smile? So I'm going back, dear, to start a new file. Now the thrill is all gone, so it's not worth the risk. And it's tough to play games with an old floppy disk. I hope you understand, dear You'll forgive me, I know I need someone with hands, dear So I'm going back home But back home in the bedroom My life was a wreck My wife was in bed with megabytes on her neck Warm boots in the hall Word stars in her eyes I use her friendly computer Lying there on her thighs I couldn't curse her for that So I said I hope you understand And you'll forgive me I know Cause this terminal illness Has been wrecking our home I hope you understand Let's write some new programs That'll keep us in touch I hope you understand, dear And you'll forgive me, I know You're just right for this man, dear So I'm coming back That was Greg Lease on pedal steel, Norm Roper on drums, and my old friends Michelle Browerman on piano, Peter Spellman on bass, and Miriam Cutler with background vocals. Us men really need to wake up to some healthier ways to behave in this world. In case there's any question, this love song of sorts illustrates one of the many reasons that people who are not male have had it with our whining neediness and our mansplaining elitist behaviors. If we could slip into their shoes for even a brief moment, we might notice how the deck has been stacked against them for years. And we might recognize how those same patriarchal systems that we set up, that we held in place, that we fought for, did tip the scales of the world in our favor. But because we didn't look far enough down the road, we didn't see that much of what we supported has led all of us to this lemming-like rush to the edge of the cliff where we now pause, hanging over the sea of change. Hey, guys, let's stop now, please. 
but wait, this was a love song. And it all sounds fairly reasonable. This guy's point of view as he lays out his case for why he's leaving and going back to his wife and kids. I mean, it's clear that figuring out how to be a man in our world today can be pretty confusing. Many of us feel sad, scared, and angry about so many things that we're expected to do. And even when we perform them to the best of our ability, we still seem to come up with not doing it well enough, the short end of the stick. It's painful. And it's very natural for humans who are in pain to avoid it. So some of us use work or compulsive attention to detail to avoid our painful feelings. We medicate them. Some of us medicate by pushing ourselves to our limits, doing things really well to make sure we excel at our endeavors so we can bask in the happy feelings about our accomplishments, even though the pressure and loneliness inside may be killing us. We hang out and are drawn to others who perform and medicate as we do. We admire clear thinkers and well-organized systems, and we feel safer holding the illusion that if we could just get enough control of ourselves and everyone else around us, we could make everything come out perfectly. That's why many of us are attracted to computers. The infatuation of new romance is a powerful medicator. Falling in love has been described as a flood of brain chemicals such as dopamine and norepinephrine created by an obsessive preoccupation on someone or something outside of ourselves. And by obsessing on the newness, all the wonderful qualities that this romance brings to our lives, we effectively block out any of our own sad, hurt, or scared feelings that might actually help us by getting our attention, by snapping us out of what we're doing so we can see the big picture more clearly. The excitement and risk of an illicit liaison, the thrill of new intimacy, the seduction, the chase, the furtive adrenaline-filled meetings are all very powerful medicators to which we can become addicted. Indeed, this kind of powerful infatuation keeps us from seeing our part of how we got scrambled in such a complicated and messy situation. Our choice to leave our spouse in the first place becomes framed as her fault for lacking those qualities we felt she was missing. (laughs) And when our broken promises and infidelities come to light, When we're finally able to see what we've done, how we've abandoned her and the kids, when clarity and remorse comes, and we yearn to be back where we were before it all began, we find that things have changed. Our singer seems to be trying his best to be honest with his beloved computer. He sets a healthy boundary for himself as he leaves her and heads back to his wife and family. He's honest with her about the way he's taken advantage of her dependency and need for him to take control. And though it may have seemed like an equal caring relationship, he was clearly using her to avoid his own painful feelings. What they had was an arrangement rather than an intimate caring relationship. Our heart goes out to him, kind of. But alas, behaviors have consequences, and at home he finds that his wife has gone on without him. She too has buried her own pain with a new laptop friend. Ah, well, let's hope They can get into a good recovery program and rebuild the relationship. Life is full of turmoil, and we can all hope for a happy ending. I'm Peter Alsop. Thanks for stopping by to chew on this song with me. I hope to see you again next week. Please subscribe and spread the word so I can keep doing this podcast. Bye for now.